People who get in their cars but then take ages to drive away. What are you doing in there? In the previous car I had, I will cold start it with the radio off and let it run for a few minutes so I can listen to what was going to break next. It rattled, buzzed, squeaked, etc. from multiple places. Being alone with my demons. I just need a few minutes to myself before and after I reach my destination. Especially if it's after work or a social event. I'm peopled out. Let me be in isolation on my phone or with my thoughts for a hot minute. Sometimes I'm queuing up a bunch of songs, looking for a podcast, texting, social media, having a snack or a drink or a smoke, anything that I want to do but can't while driving lol. Guess there's gonna be an endless amount of reasons but mine is, I have chronic pulmonary obstruction disease and when I have walked to my car I'm totally out of breath and I have to sit there for 5 or more minutes until I get my breath back and I'm able to drive in the process of applying for disabled parking permit, you're gonna have to put up with me until then, sorry for any inconvenience. Waiting for my bluetooth to connect. Rolling down all the windows. Waiting for the AC to be cold. Rolling my windows back up. Finding a song I want to base a playlist off of for this drive. Making sure I have all my shit in my pockets. Throw it in reverse. Oftentimes, the wife and I will shop at different stores, so one of us will get back first and wait in the truck until the other finishes. I do try and let the person waiting know to move on. I do self-affirmation exercises in the rearview mirror, prepping myself for a positive and fulfilling drive. I usually begin with you're good enough, you're smart enough and gosh darn it, people like you. There was a time I was shopping. Took a few minutes to load up the car afterward. Some guy really wanted the space, so sat there blocking traffic. Annoyed me so much I locked up the car and went back inside. I'm a father. I have one bathroom at home so my 10 minute pizza pickup is gonna take at least 20 so my ears can get a break. I have pretty bad ADHD. Sometimes I'll hop in the car and all of a sudden I realize I've been sitting there scrolling through Reddit for 10 minutes. Usually when I have to drive somewhere. I'm just building up the willpower to deal with people. Being in public can be very overwhelming for me so sometimes I just need to prepare myself. Getting over the ache and existential dread of driving and working as I move from one neighborhood I will never afford to live into another. Tunes, navigation, maybe sending a text, making a phone call, or changing clothes even. Maybe all of the above. I was not done using my space yet. What's it to you? Setting up my map, finding music I want. Cleaning my glasses, finishing up a phone call BC I don't talk on the phone while driving. Probably some combination of those things. Connect the Bluetooth, choose a playlist or a story to listen to and maybe text whoever I'm driving to that I'm on my way. This is kinda rare though, usually I don't take more than 10 seconds to drive away. As a parent, I'm literally either decompressing for a few minutes or having a brief fantasy about driving to a hotel to order room service and relax in blessed silence for 15 hours. While I had to keep the children alive instead of passing the buck or hiding in the toilet, bliss. Enjoying the tiny little bit of peace and solitude I get between work and home. Don't take it from me. Usually looking up something on social media or trying to think of somewhere else to go so I don't have to go home immediately. Waiting for my aftermarket Android display to boot up so I can plug my phone in. It takes a minute, and after I plug my phone in. I tap where I'm headed on maps because I like to have traffic information. Self-compose, figure out the best route on Google Maps, choose the playlist that best fit my mood for that particular drive, put my valuables away from plain sight. The works. If there is an obnoxious so-and-so beeping the horn asking them to hurry up, they are politely ignoring them. Waiting till the oil warms up in the car wait till the revs drop. And while it does that I roll a smoke and connect my phone to the stereo to play music. Letting my car warm up. It's all there's an indicator light that goes off when the engine fluids are ready to roll. Deep breathing and relaxation exercises. Centering my focus to prevent road rage. Because I drive as if everyone else on the road out there is trying to kill me. Honestly if no one's waiting for me, I'm resting. Mentally it's just so good to take some time and have a breather. It's so good. The other day I was eating my lunch in the car then pulled up beside me and asked if I was leaving. Oh no, did I have my car on? Did I have indicators on? No I was eating my lunch at 4pm. Watching you. We see you. You want this parking spot. We know. And until we leave, you have to wait. For a brief shining moment I have total power over your day. I'm gonna revel in it. Because fuck you, that's why. Or alternately I'm setting my podcast and GPS. 
The Bluetooth connection between phone and car can be temperamental. I have to let my engine run for a bit to prevent battery problems since I don't have long driving distances where I live. Decompressing after being in a crowded store venue whatever full of people, noise, and general chaos. Connecting to Bluetooth, looking up directions, texting people back and FFS chasing and wrestling my toddler into their car seat and buckling them in. That last part can take 20 minutes alone. So if you're waiting for my spot, understand I'm a super stressed out mom ready to snap. Wondering why some folk think they're entitled to hurry me out of my parking space when I might be waiting on something. Making a call, sending a message, powering up the flux capacitor, reloading, making origami, checking blood chest results or whatever the hell I want really. Need to connect my Bluetooth and possibly turn it off and search for this Tesla again as it sometimes doesn't want to do music. Usually I'm answering a couple messages, letting people know where I'm heading, clearing notifications, and setting up music. Letting my family or friends know I'm on my way home or to an event, then throwing my phone on the passenger seat outreach to not get distracted as I drive. Preventing people from asking people who get in your car, start driving and then aren't paying attention because you're messing with stuff. Why don't you get all set before you start driving? Wondering who the hell is that person watching me as I was about to drive away? Why are you watching? Why aren't you leaving? Waiting for the impatient person who wants my spot to give up and move on so I can reverse out with enough space. Enter my destination in the GPS, put my seat belt on, checking if I have all my stuff, adjust my mirror, take a call, send a text to say I'm leaving, pick a song. Also. If you are in a hole I will take even more time. Sitting comfortable, waking up, focusing, system checks, praying that there are no idiots on the road today. Taking me time. I spend all day running after other people, this is the time between doing things where I don't feel guilty because I'm technically still doing them. Alternative discussion cars who roll up on people just getting to their car with a child that needs to be strapped and why don't you just take one of the other 20 open parking spots. Setting my destination and making sure the phone is connected to the car right. My car has a bad wiring harness for the car play, so it is fiddly. Appointment is in June to fix it. Sorry. Then I am getting the music queued up and making sure the mirrors are adjusted and I know where my purse is. I assume you're the type of person who tries to stare somebody out of their parking spot quickly because you're afraid of a little walking, instead of parking in one of the 10 open parking bays a mere 50 meters away. Changing shoes, queuing songs finding a playlist, reading notifications, texting, stopping crying so I can see properly.